Captain's log, stone date 555-1879 BC. Hey, wow, that's that one gal's telephone number. <laughs> anyway, we found a planet, and Mr. Sprock has taken a dropping party down to investigate, or whatever it is he likes to do when this happens. What did you do to yourself this time? You got stung in the ears. By alien bees, can you believe it? <laughs> his ears? Oh no. Listen to that weirdly placed heart of his okay. Give him a life-saving blood transfusion, maybe. But touch those pointed monstrosities! Damn it, Jim. I'm a doctor, not a Q-tip! As usual, the good doctor is utilizing his vast medical skills to his utmost ability. Shut up, Sprock, and put some clothes on. It's only your ears! But what are we gonna do? I need him in the bridge cave. You can have him. My book is cleared for duty. Spot, wait up! Bridge cave. It looks like the swelling is going down in your ears, Spot. Yeah. I wish that swelling would go down in my tail. <laughs> Get off my helmsman and navigate. Do you want us to crash into something? My apologies, Captain, but my ears seem to be swelling at an ever-increasing rate. I'll say. Whoa! Abandon. Bridge cave. We can't control my ship. We'll crash into something. Captain, Mr. Spock, you're yeah. getting so big. They're sticking out of the sides of the ship now. We have to do something. I agree. I can imagine how ridiculous the ship looks, sporting a pair of big green ears. My ship. We can't wait until after lunch. We have to act now. A couple of well-placed pinpricks on the ears might deflate them. And it wouldn't do your spare tire any harm, Jim. <laughs> Curl about a bow and arrow. We can lean out of a window and... With that Vulcano toughness, they just bounce off. I say we use spears. Bow and arrows. Spears. What are we, savages? Bridge <laughs> cave 
to briefing cave. Captain, I believe the magnetize is under attack. A swarm of bees from the planet surface is intercepting the ship at this very moment. <laughs> Brock, what can we do? We can't even get into the bridge cave. While down on the planet's surface, I noted that the bees seemed interested in my ears. Perhaps I can use them to create a diversion. Yeah, if they go for your ears again, maybe they'll leave my ship alone. Negative, Captain. Have you ever heard of the ancient art of Vulcano ear-wiggling? Vulcano ear-wiggling, bro? I, for one, have. That's the main reason why I won't touch Vulcano ears. Nonetheless, Doctor, I believe it is our only chance. Well, then I suggest everyone get their galoshes on. Captain, the bees are in danger of dying. I am using my ears to maneuver the ship back to the swarm. Logic dictates if we help them, they may not continue their attack. Mr. Sprock, bring them aboard. Yuck! Exactly, Jim. Now you know why I won't touch Vulcano ears. How's that, Captain Lad? Get out there and clean those bees up. Well, the bees taking the bath every day. <laughs> Captain, the bees are free, but they seem anxious. You better get down here. I'm Captain Kirkstone of the Stone Ship Magnetize. We would like to extend our welcome. We are part of a federation of planetary systems, and if we can set aside our differences, we invite you to join us. Captain, I don't believe the bees understand you. Perhaps I can communicate with my ears. More ear wiggling? Okay, Shani. Show the bees Mr. Sprock's ears. Aye, right, sir. Captain, the bees agree to your terms with one demand. What's that, Mr. Sprock? They all want a pair of Sprock ears to take back home with them. Sprock ears? How are we going to do that? Jim, remember the time you made Sprock play with those nursery school kids? And they held him down and made clay dough molds of his ears? Well, we can use those to make ears for the bees. Sprock's ears aren't getting any smaller, Fossils. What are we going to do? We have to get in the bridge gate. Give him a little more time, Jim. Maybe the swelling will... Sprock! He blew himself up! Could it be possible? Sprock, what did you do to my ship? Your concern is admirable, Captain. I expected this outcome. You knew this would happen? Why didn't you say so? Because, Doctor, you didn't ask. Green-blooded, port-eared! Not anymore. <laughs> Gentlemen, a moment, please. Fuck, that's amazing! How? We tend to forget about them, but Vulcanos have an extra set of ears for just such an emergency. 
Well, I'll be a monkey's ancestor. Let's walk back to do this, so. Cute. <laughs> well, now I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 